I don't really have a pattern for this. I just have more of the idea. Back in 2016, um, in 2016, when I was preparing for my wedding, I remember my best friend took me to this awesome like wedding dress shop in Old Town, Vir uh, Alexandria in Virginia. And I got to try on this dress that was so far from what I guess what I thought I would ever wear to my wedding, but I fell in love with it. Like the skirt was this petally sort of, had these layers of tulle that were just like, they looked almost like tulip petals turned downward and you could see the various layers it's gorgeous <sighs> that skirt has never left my mind <sighs> I think this might have to be its own separate video when I do attempt to make this so I'm taking a moment to start working on this skirt I will admit what was stopping me initially was fear this I've starched everything ironed everything hopefully you've seen that and I'm working on those two from there, I'll go back into the room, iron and press the other curtain panel so I can do my two large petals and then the three smaller ones. Currently, I have it laid out. Um, it's folded in half and then just like put on the edge at the point here. So I have pinned it with one of my pins just right into my um, mat. So it's actually like pinned all the way into the mat. And what I'm doing is using it sort of like you would a protractor maybe. And I'm just marking with my um, air soluble marker. I'm using that to mark the distance all the way around so I can cut it. I don't have a template for my half circle skirt, like the midi length, so this is the best way for me. If I were using a pattern, that would have made it tons easier, but I'm kind of marking as much as I can, and then I'm gonna freehand it. Not freehand it, but yeah, kinda eyeball it and do that. So you can watch me as I do this. It's a very slow process, I will admit but um, I think it will be worth it because the layers are sheer, so you will kind of see if the hem lines are not straight. I cut the previous one and I think I eyeballed it very wrong, so I'm going to make more dots <laughs> on this time. Uh, and maybe this will just be the top layer. All right, beautiful people. So right now I'm about to cut the nine, well, they'll be like 18 inch in diameter, but nine inch radius, the smaller or the smallest of the petals, the top layers. I can't remember because I only have a picture of me in the front of the dress, of the like dress. I'm going to assume that there are three petals. So the two that overlap in the front and I'm going to add one in the back because I also need something that's gonna um, steer people away from the zipper. I don't want people to look at that, okay? Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go ahead and cut them out. I wanted to show you kind of a bit more closer up how I'm marking this. So I have my handy dandy tape measure. I'm going to go ahead and pin this right through the actual, let me get to the front part, sorry. So right through the very top of the tape measure. Do you see there? Do you see that? Okay. I'm gonna pin that right into the very tip of the fabric. Now, I am just going to then take it. I'm trying to not handle the fabric as much as possible. I have a lot of layers in here. I will say something for these layers, like I want it to not be wavy, but I also, I mean, it is what it is. This is the best option for me right now because I'm not gonna do these singular. If you were trying to get this precise, yes, that should be your mission. I'm gonna go ahead and take take this on the edge. I, I believe in myself, I believe in myself. This seems really short, nine inches. Is that really what I wanted to do, nine inches? Yes, because then when it's open, it'll be 18 inches long. Let me just double check. They say you should measure twice, cut once. Let me talk to myself a little bit. I'm gonna make an executive decision here. I'm gonna increase that to 10 inches for the radius, mainly because I know I'm going to have to cut into the top of it to drape it around on top of the half circle skirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and increase that to 10. 
which would make the diameter 20, but I think that's good. I'm, good. I'm using the disappearing ink side, the purple. Yeah, so this was my um, semicircle pattern that I cut. That is nine inches. I'm moving it away from the edge and I will just make note that this should be the back piece because it might be a little bit larger. Okay. A little petal piece. So I now have three of those and I love the way they look layered on top of each other. So I have three of those. I'm gonna go and cut the bigger ones. All right, so here I'm cutting the larger petal. So I'm gonna do the same thing, put the pin inside, stick it in the corner through all of the layers. Um, what's different here is that I, for this curtain, unhemmed everything so it's much wider on um, and will allow me to use more of the fabric. I lift and place, so I'm not sliding on top of the fabric just to make sure um, things aren't shifting. Right, so this is the part that I think I really need to explain. So in the skirt, if I can do a side by side, I will, but in the skirt, what I think is happening is that they cut some sort of semicircle um, at the top of those petal pieces. And as you drape that then around the body, that's what gives you that beautiful sort of like billowy flowy effect, those soft petals as they were. Um, think of the way that you get those ripples when you make a full circle skirt, right? And then you cut that narrow sort of um, circle at the top and form it around your body, then all of that extra fabric has to go somewhere. So then they pool and create these beautiful waves. That's what I think is happening. So what I did is I took the circle. This is, I think if I were to sew it at a five eighths of an inch, should give me about the circumference of my waist-ish, something like that. Um, so I am planning to then place those at these edges and create that semicircle that would then drape around my body and create those soft petals. So I'm going to test it out on the large ones. I should probably do it on just one, right? <laughs> yeah, let me do that because I'm getting overzealous. I'm gonna do it on one, stand in the mirror and see how I how I like it. Um, so basically I'm going to take, I have my grid here. So I'm just lining up the edges, the harsh edges along these lines right here. And then I'm going to cut. Easy peasy, it's not a direct science. It's going to be laying on top of the half circle skirts that I cut. So it really is, it's fine. The layer number one. Then this would be the soft layer in front. See the petals forming, do you see? How by cutting that, it then gives it room to sort of create petals. Do you see that? Um, so I ended up going with this fabric because I really think it's a better option for me for what I'm trying to do because it has a bit more body to it. It's more substantial than the silk. And I like that the color is a bit richer. And then I will French seam the backs of both of the initial layers of tulle, the half circle skirts. And then I think tomorrow will be in a really great place the goal i think we're on to something really excited about it i hope you are too after being happy with this method i went back to each of the petal pieces and cut out the waistline using my full circle skirt template from there i marked the centers of each petal and ironed them flat next i stay stitched each of the waistlines and narrow rolled down each of the petals and made sure that I French seamed the backs of the underskirts. Then I assembled by pinning all of the petals together and here is when I realized that the top smallest petals were way too small. No, <laughs> this doesn't work. So while I'm really proud of what I've done, I know that I need to edit this make. So I would like to add at least maybe seven inches um, to the diameter of the smallest petals that I have here. And I think that will make it look a lot better. If you are curious, I ended up using the original large petal to recut the small petals that you see here. 
Then using a fresh curtain panel, I went ahead and marked out and cut out much larger petals for the bottom layer. I'll be honest, I'm not sure if my notes will make any sense to anyone else, but here they are if you want a screenshot. You know it's serious when you pull out the old uh, manual. But I want to consider doing a narrow hemmed stitch on the overlocker instead of doing the narrow rolled foot on the sewing machine, which produced this. And it's very hard on something, the petals, because of how curved they are. It was extremely challenging to keep this straight. Now, from the outside, I would say those little fidgety bits, yes. Can you see them if you looked really close? Yes, but from far away, I honestly don't think those things would bother the common person. They would just drive me utterly insane um, to know that the insides were doing this. All right, so I just wanna show some of the options. I would say I feel, I don't feel like I'm losing anything by not using the sewing machine. I think this, wouldn't bother me too much in the grand scheme of things. I do see like it's very minimal fraying, but yeah, I think this has given me at least the confidence to know that tension seems just about right. So I might now move forward and get all of the petals ready. All right, so I just finished piecing and placing all of the layers together. It looks much better than it did previously, and it has a ton of pins all up along the top. I'm just using the top of the dress form um, as it might be harder, since this isn't soft all the way through, um, it might be harder to get the pins to like lay the way that I want. But so far, this is what it's looking like. It has quite a few overlaps, particularly towards the top. I ordered yesterday the tool to make the petticoat that will go under it. So yeah, this is where I'm at right now. I went with the narrow rolled hem on the serger and I actually don't mind it at all. I think it looks great. Um, looks very even and neat. Whereas I don't think I would have gotten that same finish with the narrow rolled foot on the sewing machine. I am going to now baste hand baste this in place um, with needle and thread so that I can put it through the sewing machine in the back. The reason why this whole business is happening right here is because there will be a zipper or some sort of closure in the back. Oh, ah, I never took out the, oh my gosh. I never took out the needle and thread that I used to um, hand baste this. Wow, that could have been dangerous. Okay, so here is the skirt thus far. How do we feel about it? I think it's definitely the petals, the larger size is giving me more of what I think the inspiration dress was giving. I love it. I do think that with the petticoat with a bit more volume in the bottom, this could be epic. I love that. So I just wanted to come and show you where I'm at with the petticoat two layers at the bottom. This one is super gathered, then a semi-gathered one, and then I did a long version that should cover both of those layers just to make it really stand out and be a bit smoother. So I'm going to go ahead and shimmy back into the skirt. Yeah, it's definitely so much fuller. I feel like Carrie Bradshaw in Sex in the City. I brought some zipper options to check out from my stash. The next one is this one, which I think might be the best color for it, right? Like that's the best color up against it. Three of them, right? So I think this one might be the one that I go with. All right, so I'm trying to work on the waistband. I have the satiny curtain that I picked up and I have the 
tool or like the fabric from the actual skirt and I'm going to use my awesome wonder tape to just attach these at the top and bottom so that they stay together while I try to handle them and create a waistband quickly I've interfaced the back initially I used the woven interfacing and then I went back in with the Pellin the heavyweight interfacing um, just halfway so that I could get a really firm and um, yeah sturdy waist. I just have to show you all something now that I'm done shedding tears about it like what is this when how what's happening the audacity it's just <laughs> why I don't even I wh like what could I have been cutting I don't know if it's when I was cutting this and maybe the fabric was tucked under and I didn't know. I'm so upset. I'm hoping that it... So, here I'm floating. <laughs> I wanted to post a reveal of the making of the red top and my petal skirt and realize that I don't have any photos in them. Any like done photos. So we're back out like we did with the yellow dress and um, hopefully I can show you these soon. Hopefully we got some good shots. If I sound stuffy or sick in this week's Friday Sews, this is why. I gotta know, how do you think the petal skirt turned out? Would you make anything like this yourself? Please leave me a like and a comment down below. I hope that you subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, stay creative. Bye-bye.